Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Dr. Abdul Sattar Chaudhuri from Addin Omens Medical College, Physiology Department. Dear student, today my topic is adrenal gland. There are two adrenal glands, each having 5 gram weight lie on the upper pole of the two kidneys. They can distinctly separate two parts. One is adrenal medulla, another is adrenal cortex. During intrauterine life, the adrenal cortex is large in comparison to adult. Soon after birth, the adrenal cortex reduced in size to 20% of fetal size. That time the adrenal cortex secreted more androgen. That androgen carried by a blood to the placenta and it is converted to estrogen and progesterone that support the pregnancy. The adrenal medulla, it is 20% of the gland size. It is closely related with the sympathetic nervous system and also it prepared the body for fight or flight response and it has three secretion one is epinephrine non-epinephrine and dopamine once the adrenal medulla is destroyed it will never be regenerated adrenal cortex the main hormone of adrenal cortex is steroid hormone three types of steroids, mineralocorticoids, glucocorticoids, and androgens. The mineralocorticoids hormone, its name have gained because it has action on serum concentration of potassium and sodium. Therefore, its name is mineralocorticoids. The main function of these mineralocorticoids to preserve up sodium in exchange of potassium. The glucocorticoids, its name gained from because it has action on plasma glucose level. That is the regulation of plasma glucose level in between meal is maintained by the glucocorticoids. Glucocorticoids, the glucocorticoids have gained its name because it controls the plasma glucose level in between meal. And it has also other function. It has function on protein also to fat. The androgen, androgen, it is the muscularizing effect of the body, androgen. Adrenal cortex, adrenal cortex, histologically, it has three layers. The outermost layer is called zona glomerulosa. It is about 15% of the gland size. And it's mainly secret aldosterone. And aldosterone secreted from the zona glomerulosa because one enzyme that need for synthesis of aldosterone, it is the aldosterone synthetase. And middle layer that is zona fasciculata it is about 75 percent of the gland size its main hormone is cortisol in addition to cortisol it also secret some androgen and estrogen the innermost layer is zona reticularis it is about 10 percent of the gland size it secret only adrenal androgen that is DHEA, dehydro, and also it secret other androgen. Now, dehydro epiandesterone and endosterone. This, these two hormones is the adrenal sex hormone. It is the histologically it has three layers, but functionally the adrenal cortex having two layers. One is outer layer. Jonah Gromlisa, its secretion is regulated by serum concentration of potassium and angiotensin 2. Both will stimulate the secretion of aldosterone.
the middle layer, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis, these two acts as a single unit and its secretion is regulated by ACTS, that is hypothalamo hypophysial pituitary axis via SCTS. It has been seen when that SCTS is increased secretion, that is a hypertrophy of the zona fasciculata and reticularis that will secrete more glucocorticoids and androgen. Next is steroid hormone, the raw materials for the synthesis of steroid hormone, that is synthesis of steroid hormone is the cholesterol. It is direct from cholesterol or de novo synthesis is cholesterol from acetate. That is 80 percent of the cholesterol that need for synthesis of steroid hormone is provided by low density lipoprotein. And the lipoprotein is carried through the blood, then it go to the adrenal cortical cells. There is a, some receptor that is go inside the endocytosis. When it goes inside the low density lipoprotein, then it is split by lysosomal enzyme cholesterol. The free cholesterol that entered inside the mitochondria, mitochondria having another enzyme that is cholesterol dismolase that convert the cholesterol to pregnenolone, pregnenolone. That is the rate limiting steps of steroid hormone synthesis. Then this pregnenolone in one pathway it will synthesis aldosterone, in another pathway it will synthesis cortisol, in third pathway it will synthesis the adrenal sex hormone. Now, I will give you some example of mineral corticoids. The main mineral corticoid is the aldosterone. Its 90 percent activity is mineral corticoid activity and other 10 percent is glucocorticoid activity. In addition to aldosterone, it, it will secrete other mineral corticoid. One is deoxycorticosterone, corticosterone. Another is synthetic mineral corticoid that is name is 9-alpha fluorocortisol. It is more potent than aldosterone and it also secrete cortisol and cortisol. Next is glucocorticoids. Example of glucocorticoid. Main hormone of glucocorticoid is cortisol. It 95 percent activities is glucocorticoid activity and 5 percent having mineralocorticoid activity. In addition to cortisol, the cortisol another name is hydrocortisol. It secretes cortisol, corticosterone and some synthetic corticosteroid that is prednisolone, methylprednisolone and dexamethasone. Prednisolone is four times as potent as cortisol, methylprednisolone is five times as potent as cortisol and dexamethasone is 30 times as potent as cortisol. And all these glucocorticoids have been mineral corticoid activity except the dexamethasone its 100 percent activity is glucocorticoid activity. How it transport from secretion to different tissue? It is transported in bindings with plasma protein. That is steroid are bound to plasma protein. That is cortisol 90 to 95 percent of cortisol is bound to plasma protein. That is alpha fraction of globulin that is called tense coating and a small portion is albumin. Therefore, the half life of the cortisol is 60 to 90 minutes there and it will prevent the elimination of cortisol from the blood very that is elimination of cortisol from the blood is very slow due to the bound with plasma protein. Now, mineralocorticoids, the aldosterone, 60 percent of aldosterone is bound to plasma protein and 40 percent is free, 40 percent is free. Therefore, it half-life is only 20 minutes, 20 minutes. 
that what is the importance of this hormone bound to plasma protein? It acts as a storage of hormone. When the hormone needs for tissue, it will quickly supply from this bound protein of that is. And also it will not fluctuate the hormone level, hormone level in the plasma. Plasma. Now the fate of steroid hormone. What are the site of fate of metabolism of steroid hormone? The main site of steroid hormone is liver. Fate of or metabolism of steroid hormone. All the steroid hormone is metabolized in the liver. First, these hormone enter the liver. It will consecuted with the glucuronic acid and a small portion is sulfate that 25% of conjugated steroid hormone will eliminate it through the biliary tract and through the feces and 75% of conjugated steroid hormone again secreted to the blood it is the water soluble then it carried through the blood and eliminated from the body by kidney through urine when the kidney function is depressed the inactivated steroid hormone will not be eliminated from the body it retained in the body similar when the liver function is suppressed there is a the steroid hormone will not be inactivated in the body and increase concentration of steroid hormone in the blood now function of mineralocorticoids now in one sentence the mineralocorticoid that is aldosterone main function of aldosterone to conserve sodium chloride in the body in exchange of potassium and hydrogen ion it has action on kidney it has action of parotid gland it has action of sweet gland and colon in kidney collecting tubules there are some cells that is intercalated cells it acts on that cell that cell helps to reabsorb of sodium chloride from the renal tubules in exchange of potassium and hydrogen ion also it has minor action on distal tubules and collecting tube, collecting duct it has been seen that complete loss of function of aldosterone the secretion of aldosterone about 10 to 20 gram of sodium will be lost through the urine from the body it is about one tenth or one fifth of the total sodium it has action on parotid duct as you know the primary secretion of parotid gland is sodium chloride when this fluid is passing through the parotid duct it will reabsorb the sodium chloride in exchange of potassium and bicarbonate similar to soed gland the primary secretion of soed gland is sodium chloride when it pass through the soed duct it will reabsorb the sodium chloride in exchange of potassium and bicarbonate then last one is it has action of colon in from colon it will absorb sodium chloride in other three places it is the reabsorption but here it is the absorption if sodium chloride will not absorb it will remain in the colon and it will make the stool loose therefore diarrhea may occur i think today is enough for this